Hi, I'm Tim Tordahl with Wim Labs, and we're here to introduce the Wim Wearable Platform. Uh, we built an Android-based device, a small touchscreen-based computer that has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, accelerometers, magnetometers. It runs micro apps, so you get the access to the data you need as soon as you need it, very quickly, and ties into a whole web services backend to allow you to add applications, uh, sync and set up your device, and manage your life. The WIM module is designed to go into lots of different form factors, whether it's a belt clip or a pendant uh, or even a watch strap. You simply insert it into uh, a holder and you can wear it around. So in addition to uh, picking any kind of holder you like, whether it's a, a wristband, pendant, belt clip, uh, you can customize the user interface. So here you see a watch face that happens to have four different time zones on it that you get to choose. But you can also, just by holding it, choose between many different watch faces. And in fact, developers can create different watch faces and uh, allow users to pick the ones they like. For example, here's one that brings in my local weather. When I'm ready to use the system, I just flip the watch face away, and I'm in the launcher. I can go in and use any of the applications here. I can add applications from my app stores at any time, easily go into my calendar, see what my meetings are, get out of it, Maybe check the weather. How's it going to be later in the week? Yeah, it's all capacitive touch, so you just touch it to wake it up. Swipe to interact with it. Easily move around. And does it have more touch an application? So let's say I'm four deep into the menu. How do I get back home? Yeah, so it's at any time you can just use two fingers to pull down, get back to the home screen, and if you wanted to go to sleep. Can you talk about some of the display technologies as how you can keep battery to be a little yeah. longer? So we have this uh, transflective TFT display that uh, you know, 23 hours a day essentially is in this reflective mode. And it can update and give you pieces of information. Very, very readable, but very low power. So it lasts all day long. The second you touch it, we wake up and go into full color mode. And you're able to get the rich experience you'd come to expect with a, a smart connected device. Can you show us some of the, while we're in here, some of the apps that does come Sure. This is the world clock. You pick the cities that you're interested in. You can see the globe spins around uh, to show you where it is and what time it is. You could go into uh, a timer. This one's sort of fun. Um, spin it sort of like an egg timer and start the countdown. We've also got an alarm clock. Got a little bit of a retro feel. I can set my alarm. Turn it on and off. Okay, so speaking of alarm, I travel mm -hmm. quite a bit. Yeah. Any accessories where I can attach it to uh, a nightstand <clears throat> or whatnot? Absolutely. So typically you charge, and what comes with the base developer kit is a magnetic charging paddle that holds it like that. And it can even hold it when it's still in something like the watch. There's no, there, there isn't an external battery in here, right? No, there isn't. This connects via micro USB, and we come with cable and a wall adapter. Okay. Uh, but. In some instances, uh, we found that users might want a nice travel solution. So we created this, folds flat for packing in your bag. You unfold it. It's actually got a, a battery in there that can charge our device for four days. So at night, you simply magnetically snap it on there, and it's able to recharge while you're on, on vacation. Okay, so as a developer, we have a lot of developers on the Android community. How yeah. would they get involved, and when can they get involved? So with uh, our announcement, we're opening up the developer program. So we'll be taking applications for people who want to develop applications and bring them into our fold. Uh, the SDK will be available in about four to six weeks, uh, and then they'll be able to submit apps and put them into our app store and work with us uh, to distribute them out to our licensees. And what do they get? Well, what they get initially is the SDK and an emulator. If they're interested in having a device, we're discounting it for developers. So we'll be offering uh, a WIM developer kit. We call it the WIM1 developer kit. And it comes with a module, uh, watch strap, documentation, as well as uh, charging accessories. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. So WIM has created a micro app store that's available to our licensees so that they can uh, host their own stores uh, to support the devices they'll bring to market. They're white labeled um, and they get the benefit of us bringing all the apps together, working with the developers to create applications for the platform 
and ultimately uh, we'll host them in an app warehouse and they'll choose which apps get merchandised into their stores. And what about out the door? Um, what are some of the st uh, like standard so apps? So we've made some applications that are available to um, anyone who wants to take them. Some of them are focused on timing because a natural use case is a watch, so timer, stopwatch, alarm clock. Uh, we've done a handful of applications that bring data in from the web, whether it's your calendar from Google or Exchange, a weather feed, things like that. And then we've also done a number of things where we pair it to your mobile phone. So you can get caller ID, you can get SMS previews, uh, you're able to get warnings if you left your phone behind in a bar, things like that. What about some of the features such as GPS, um, accelerometer? Yeah, so the hardware is, is open and available to developers to access the different uh, sensors and features that we have in any way they'd like. Uh, so if they want to create an application that talks via Bluetooth to a phone, they can do that. If they want to use Wi-Fi to sync data, they can do that. Um, we can do custom and purpose-built devices that have great GPS functionality if you wanted to create uh, runners, watch, for example, things like that. And the material? So right now we've got a couple of options. Uh, it'll come in plastic. We have options to put it in ceramic. Why ceramic? Well, so for some of our licensees, they like to do premium devices. And we chose ceramic because we could come up with a formulation that was RF transparent, so all the antennas for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, et cetera, uh, can work in a fairly nice uh, housing material. One of the things that makes the WIM platform unique is our focus on micro-applications. And it's a really different uh, way to think about apps than you would in a traditional smartphone app. It's about getting just the piece of data you need right when you need it. So we've got a fairly small screen, just one inch by one inch. And it's about elevating things like where you need to be next, what the current weather conditions are, what the exchange rate is in the city you just landed in, and getting that to the user as quickly as you possibly can, stripping out a lot of the extraneous stuff. It really is a, a data consumption device. So it's not about entering stuff in, but it's about getting stuff out. So how do I get stuff in? So the, uh, the micro app SDK is based on the Android SDK with some slight customizations for our screen size. Uh, but because our device is connected and will sync via Wi-Fi, talk to your phone via Bluetooth, tether out to the internet that way, you can sync that data down anytime you want. So uh, we bring down calendar events, weather, we bring down RSS feeds, any of that kind of stuff will just come over our data channel. What about email? Yeah, if somebody wants to build an application that brings down email or maybe just brings down your most urgent emails or things that have a, a urgency flag on them, that's easy to do. And get and a little notification. I, say if I click on it, will it just pop up on my so, phone or? Yeah, so it's up to the developer how they make it work, but they can allow it to uh, be accessible here or if something really catches your fancy and you want to la launch it back in the browser on your smartphone, you can trigger that from the, the Win module. Do so you have a mobile device that will allow me to control the, yeah. the device? So the Win module will pair with any Bluetooth phone. With Android and BlackBerry phones, we've actually built a companion app. This is a beta version of it, but it allows you to do things like control, whether caller ID gets pushed over, SMS, you can add devices, and then ultimately you'll be able to go into our app store and add apps, or um, once you're online, into uh, the owner site that allows you to manage the settings on your phone. From here, I can basically push information over or sync. That's right. So this application is, is a gateway to the WIM module, so applications that exist either on the web or even on the smartphone can use this to talk to our module. What about other platforms like iOS? Is that coming down the pipe as So well? we support iOS for caller ID. Um, and as Apple opens up what they allow over Bluetooth, we'll continue to support it. Perfect. All right. Thank you.